Hi, I'm Paige Reynolds, and I'm so excited to be a part of the ACT on I see someone less fortunate than I, and let's fake. Oh, sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paige Reynolds, and I'm so excited to be a part of the ACT Encore Challenge. Hey. Hi, I'm Paige Reynolds, and I'm so excited to be a part of the ACT Encore Challenge. Hi, I'm Paige Reynolds, and I am so excited to be a part of the ACT. I am filming in here. Hi, I'm Paige Reynolds. I'm so excited. No, no, uh-uh. Okay, let's uh, try this again. I'm Paige Reynolds, and I am so excited to be participating in this ACT Encore Challenge. Obviously, we're all navigating some extreme circumstances right now. And so I think it's pretty fitting that my most recent role at Argenta was Blanche from Tennessee Williams, A Streetcar Named Desire, because if anyone knows a little something about trying to survive in desperate circumstances, it is Blanche Dubois. Um, for this video, I wanted to depart just a little bit from the musical tradition um, of these encore videos. Uh, because I know y'all don't want to hear Blanche's drunk bathtub singing. That is all she's got. So uh, I'm going to do a little something different and ask for some audience participation. So if you will just humor me, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I am posting, um, you'll see on the screen in just a minute, uh, a few photos from ACT and a Kansas production of Streetcar from the fall of 2019. Okay, so what I would love for you to do is... Um, drop a comment below and let us know which one of Blanche's moods resonates most deeply with your current quarantine pandemic vibe. And if you would leave a caption, that would be even better. One of the um, ways in which Blanche really captured my heart long before I got the immense privilege of portraying her is her resilience. Uh, despite all odds and in the face of really horrific trauma and a series of uh, unbelievably tragic life events, her spirit is so strong and she is so self-aware about the power of art to heal even the deepest wounds. So in the play, when she's talking to her pregnant sister uh, about why she should leave her husband who beats her, uh, she, she talks about letting go of old, primitive, uncreative ways of thinking, right? To, to look and find a way to move forward. And um, when she talks about this, she turns to art so she says, such things as art, as poetry and music, such new kinds of light have come into the world since then. In some people, some tender of feelings have had some little beginning that we have got to make grow and cling to and hold as our flag. In this dark march toward whatever it is we're approaching, don't, don't hang back with the brutes. So what I think Blanche knows is that art can lift us up. It can move us forward. It has always done this and it always will. And this is why organizations like Argenta Community Theater are so important always, but especially right now. Um, ACT appreciates your support and continues to need your support um, because it so beautifully creates these worlds that you love, we hope. 
Um, and it needs your support also because the kind of work that ACT does also creates love in the world. Um, and more love in the world is always going to be a good thing. I would like to thank ACT um, for the important work that the theater continues to do, um, for the ways in which ACT nurtures our local artists, our young artists, which is so important, and um, for all the opportunities that I've had the, uh, the, the chance to be a part of, um, for which I'm so grateful. And now I'm gonna pass this on to uh, Jamie Stewart and James of A Christmas Carol. So you're up next, can't wait to hear from you. <laughs> 